Hello and how are you all doing today? My name is Savior. I want to thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today we're back on some Heroes and Generals. After taking a little break for a little while, just hopped in a war battle. It's been going on for just a little bit. Plan is the US Infantry. Um, I might not even just stay Infantry, I might swap it up a little bit. Just depending on what we need. I got sniped in the face. We need guys on the objective. Next time I die, I'm spawning as my AT guy. I'm gonna blow up that tank. Oh shoot, another tank behind me. I'm dead. It's not a tank spamming fest anymore, they all say. <laughs> that looks like garbage. Alright, we're back in the game. Might leave in that bit, so this is another war battle. So that sucks. Bad time to spawn in recon. Wow, what a random shot. <laughs> spawn in recon on an APC only to be spawn camped immediately. But so I'm in a war battle and they added a new feature where when you're joining war it zooms in on the world map to the location where it's at. But at least both times I've tried so far. It just zooms into a blurry blob of pixelated garbage. So I don't think it's supposed to do that. So I have a feeling they need to fix that. But anyways, we're fighting. I'm gonna be swapping between recon and infantry. Just based on what we need to be doing to win. But I'm squad leader of like a full infantry squad. And then we'll see what we can do. I don't know. I don't like the new map. It's way less detailed. And yeah, like there's no detail whatsoever. I don't like that. But whatever. They didn't ask my preference. There's a sniper right in front of me. What? I ran right into that guy and missed my shot. He was bunny hopping like he's playing Halo 2. Okay. Oh, I can't spawn as recon because they punish you for playing recon now. Sorry, I'll try to not complain too much. But for those of you who are more regulars on this channel, you know that I've kind of been slowing down my uploads of this game because it's just kind of not as enjoyable for me anymore. But I still play it every once in a while because this used to be a favorite game of mine. And there are little moments of joy when playing. And um, I want to keep with it. Plus, most of my subscribers only watch when I upload those videos. So, as a way of making you guys happy, I endure the pain a little bit. But, if you're watching this and you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you can see when I put out other content. Shameless plug. And, uh, yeah, if you are a subscriber of mine, consider watching the other content I put out in different games. Those are ones where, where I have a little bit more fun. Wait. Did I get him? Nice kill. B4. Oops. This is the second time that dude's driven to flank us. I feel like he's leaving from B-line. Get behind us. I'm gonna steal this thing and drive back to... What is it? 01 is church? It's 01 or 02. I can't remember. We're gonna steal this guy, though. Alright. There we go. 02 is church. Yeah, don't like the map. Oh, well. That's okay. The rate at which... What the... Okay. The rate at which we lost B made me think that there were enemies all over the place, but apparently not. Okay, I think he's in this tower. Yeah, he's in the tower. I really don't want to drop a car 98. We're going to climb up this tower.
pretty sure that cross never used to be there on the pinnacle. Oh, I know where he's at. He's right there in the corner, up top. No? He must have moved. It sounded like he was in that towers. There you are. Oh shoot, I freaking fell out of the rafters. And now there's lag kicking in and I can't move. Oh shoot! What a play by me. There's a gentleman. Okay. There's also me missing every single shot. Tank. Get out of here, tank driver. Oh, shoot. Another tank. Killed the driver. Oh, the lag is making me strafe. Oh. Killed a second driver, but I promise it's not a tank spam fest. There's only... F oh, that's our tank. There's only three enemy tanks. Alrighty then, we've decided to hop into one more war battle, just because the last two sucked really bad, and I wanted to try to have a little bit of fun with it. So, um, you know, uh, if you're regular on this channel, you'll know, every time I play Heroes and Generals, I tend to complain a little bit, and usually it's all out of good fun, like I'll say, oh, US sucks, so here comes the tank, we're screwed, um, or like, get mad at my teammates, not super frustrated really ever, it's just a game, I'm just playing it to have fun. Um, it is slightly frustrating when your team doesn't know what the heck to do and you shouldn't be losing. Sweet lord. Um, but I've had people ask me like if I don't intend on playing the game anymore or if I like hate it or anything like that. And I, I've, I've played this game for years off and on like a very very long time. Let's see if I can pull this off. And um, a short answer to do I hate it? No, absolutely not. That's why I still play it every now and again. Um, this, hands down, used to be one of my favorite games. One second, we're gonna pause. Oh! He shot me point blank with a Panzerfaust. Um, that's one reason why I don't hate this game. You could do stuff like that. It's incredible. Um, so do I hate it? No, absolutely not. Um, this used to be one of my favorite games, and always enjoyed playing it for fun, and I still enjoy playing it for fun, but I have to do it in doses, because there there are certain things about it that are a little frustrating. Um, some of it's gameplay mechanics, some of it's just player base in general of, like, people not really working together. Um, the game does not promote team play as compared to games like Hell at Loose, or Squad, or Postscriptum, or Postscriptum's maybe not as good of a um, example as Hell Let Loose, but that's okay. That's my personal preference. But those are games that are designed around, like, you have a squad, much like in Heroes and Journals, but the gameplay mechanics sort of promote the idea of teamwork and working together and being smart and tactical. Whereas this game runs a bit more like a combination of Battlefield and, like, Call of Duty, but with a little bit more of an openness to it. And so... It, it doesn't... There are certain ways that the game runs that, like, for being a free game, is actually very enjoyable. So do I think you should play it? Yeah, absolutely. But for a free game, like, hands down, you can't beat it. Like, it's a good game to play. It's a lot of fun if you enjoy some bigger scale um, shooting games. So, you know, you don't want to buy a game? This is a really great option that allows you to have some good fun and allow you to have some frustrating moments where you suck like that. Um, I hope he had, if he has a scope on that, I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna lose this line. Just so you all are aware. Um, so, yes, there are frustrating things. I think that some bits could be improved. Yes, I took you with me. Screw you, man. Okay, um, do I even... 
Do I even spawn on it? Heck yeah, we're gonna go in there. Just full blown. I wanna try to kill as many people as I can. One second, I'll continue this. Okay. Or I'll get shot by a tank. So, there's been a major issue going on as of late that a lot of the player base has quit and been frustrated about, and that is the issue of tanks. Um, I haven't played for weeks and was told that tanks improved in some regard. I see you. But, um, I've played three rounds now tonight to record this video, and so far I have not seen any evidence of that being fixed. It seemed to be I could blow up tanks a little bit easier. Ooh. It seemed to be that I could blow up tanks a little bit easier, but I haven't seen any evidence of the tank spamming itself being fixed. So tank spamming, literally, like, you can spawn a huge amount of tanks and just hold objectives, and for a long time it was impossible to get to the tanks ever since they did the update where vehicles drive significantly slower in grass and so like you can't get to tanks to blow them up because they're like impossible to run to. Um, haven't seen much evidence of that actually being improved entirely so there are things like that that are frustrating and people I made a video about like how to win and I was joking it was totally a joke um, and I put play as the Germans and there, the only air of truth in that is that I think that the German team generally is more skilled, but not that they actually have any advantages in like their guns or their vehicles or anything like that. I don't personally subscribe to that idea. Um, it's more of the concept of player base tends to gravitate towards Germany when they're better, and US tends to draw in newer people, um, which is fine. Like. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it does get a little old when you're constantly losing because your team just doesn't know what they're doing. Um, so I made a video, like, joking about that. I don't think that there are any overwhelming issues in that regard of, like, the game needs fixed in those ways or anything like that. It's more of little things, and there's a lot of bugs constantly in the game that just last for months on end and don't get fixed. And so there are things that when you've played the game for a really long time, you just kind of get frustrated because you want to see things improve. And um, it's just a very slow and monotonous and annoying process. Um, but does that mean you shouldn't play it? Absolutely not. I think that you should play it and see for yourself if you enjoy it. Um, game still has a lot to offer. It's enjoyable. It runs in a very unique way that a lot of shooter games do not, and it feels very unique. I'm sure I would love for them to add more maps than the same, like, four they've had for the past five years, but, uh, you know, maybe we'll get there. Um, I know they've added smaller skirmish maps. I'm, I'm, I'm fully aware of that, so don't start typing in your comments already, um, but you get my point. So, holy... Gosh, actually, I still want this. But yes, if you're looking for a free-to-play game, I think that it's still worth checking out. I think that it's still alive. And Did he really get that lucky? Couldn't land a shot, and he got me right in the face. Um, I think that it's still enjoyable. I think that it's worth your time. Um, do I particularly, as someone who has already purchased other shooter games, um, prefer this over those? No. And... In all honesty, I probably shouldn't because those games you have to pay for. This one's free. Um, but a lot of people, whenever I put out other shooter games in gameplay, they're always like, oh, is this free? And I feel like there's this... I was really hoping you wouldn't see me. There's, I feel like there's this there's this idea and concept of people that they think because Heroes and Generals is free and it's not bad, therefore all other games should be free. And... Holy hip fire! That was unlucky. Um, and I don't think that it's it's fair to assume that every company should put out their game for free. Um, you know, it's a strategy, and I don't think that it's intended for every game, and it shouldn't be intended for every game. So if you're wanting to find something that's less frustrating, more polished, a little bit more enjoyable, plays a little bit differently, invest in other games. But I don't think it's, it's fair to be upset with a game that is entirely free and, like, just hate on it for what it is because it's like it's it's free you can't be mad at something for being free um they're, they're giving you this experience for nothing and it's like 
you gotta kind of respect that and just be okay with it. But with that being said, like I mentioned earlier, my subscriber con my subscriber base tends to enjoy the content in this game a little bit more than I do playing it. Um, that's something that I wish would change, but at the moment, it's not. It's that's that's how it is. So I I play it more than I would enjoy, but that doesn't make the game bad or. That doesn't say that you tried to no-scope headshot the guy. That was a big mistake. Um, but yeah, that doesn't mean that you should not pick it up and try it out yourself. So I would encourage you to do that. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to capture this church up here because this is this is ridiculous. I might even spawn in an APC next life and try to drive around the bridge. What the? Holy bug! Can I? That was not frustrating at all, believe me. Where's he at? Ground floor? Okay, there's a tank camping the bridge over there. Can you mark it for me, please? Oh, and they're bringing an APC over. Dude. If I snipe the driver out of that APC, I hit him, but I didn't. Someone didn't modify this to be a one shot. I'm gonna die. That tank's gonna shoot me. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Still have terrible ping right now. Hello. He saw me. Get around that corner, man. What happened? Somehow my Thompson went on single fire and I almost died because of it. Are you kidding me? We lost B4. Um, yeah, that totally went through that guy. You all saw it. Oh, I thought that lamp was a German. Holt, did you see that flick? That guy's... I should bandage. Did you see that guy spin around and... That was incredible. I'm not going to say the H word, though. Oh. Oh, we're going to lose B3? Perfect. Run! You know what? Okay, I was going to, uh, uh, whatever it's called, hold down F11 or whatever it is where you despawn. But, uh, don't need to do that because I got killed. Also, if you notice, some prime example, oh, you don't right click to zoom in anymore. I, I don't like the map at all, I'll say it. Um, but US team, not very good at defending objectives. Back to my previous statement with that one. I know, I know, you're gonna be like, but Savior, you were all the way at the church. Well, I was attacking before they capped B4, and it's a freaking three-mile journey. So, cut me a little bit of slack. Oh gosh! You tried to kill me. I got a headshot. Ow! Oh. Get out of here. Is he using a pistol? Oh no, he's using a Gewehr. Get me. Hey, where is this guy? I thought I killed that guy! I'm an idiot. 
spawn me here. Going around. They got an APC up here. Are you kidding me? Hmm. What? Come at me. Where's he at? I see you. That's how you do it. Oh, oh gosh. I need to get deeper in the woods and bandage. Did someone steal my gun? You stole my freaking gun, you jerk! Oh well. No one defending. I can't even tell if people are defending with this map. Nope, no one's there. And they all keep running that way. They're completely oblivious. I don't- I don't think that the US team generally knows that there's a sound that plays when you start losing the objective. Yeah, they're still going at it at B4 even though it's impossible to capture. That's okay. I don't want to talk about that. How did I miss all of those intro shots on that guy? Hey, I know there's a guy right there. Yeah, there too. Alright, screw you. I am... In awe that you did not die. Oh. He's in that room. Actually, you know what? Let's prove it. No, oh, he's not in that room. Oops, I damaged a friendly. Therefore, he is in the attic. We got an APC. Danger close. There's still a man in the attic and I don't think anyone's gonna try to kill him. That's okay. I'm dead. MG42 mounted in the window below me? He killed his own teammate with that grenade! So I haven't played since the bipod update, so now people can like mount bipods. Ow! <sighs> oh he was- I thought that guy was dead. Oh we do have- hold up everybody. This is about to get interesting. My squad, please defend. Is that an enemy shooting in here? Or why was there so much of our team? No, that's a ally. Ho! Oh, was an ally. So, apparently since the bipods were added, everyone likes to lay prone now. So can I deploy? bipod or is it only like certain guns is it an attachment how does that work I don't know there you are um how's your head doing 
after that bullet went clean through it and didn't do any damage to you. Okay, that was just a bad shot on my part. That was... gun sway. Tank's still up and running. If I had to guess, mounted MG in that window again. No, I don't want... I want the freaking Panzerfoss in the back. I already got it. Wounded a guy. Get out of here. Oh, I see. That's a freaking tank. Get down. I need a medic. Oh my, where did you come from? Thirty-one seconds. Uh, that's uh, that's my one complaint that I'm gonna say. I hate that they changed it to where if you're recon, you have to wait like forty-five seconds to spawn in whenever you die. It's stupid. I mean, sure, it pushes for infantry to play. And yes, I know they cha reverted the change where it's like, for a long time, if you spawned in recon, you could only play recon. Which I'm glad they reverted that, so I get it. It's to help encourage people to play infantry rather than sit back. I outkilled a mounted MG. But, uh, outgunned, I mean. Here comes more. Get this heal off. Alright. Where you at? So many little heads poking over that. Okay, by a freaking grenade. I don't know where I just clicked to spawn. Oh well. Get in there, boys. Let's see if we can get to a place where I can hit that tank. I need to. I want to get to that building there. Okay, next goal is to get to that building. How, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Pinpoint accuracy. After this life, I'm going to spawn recon again. Where am I at? 30 and 13, not doing too hot. We're gonna lose this round so freaking bad. Oh, I got it. A little spray and pray thrown in at the end there. I knew if I opened up on him, I was going to have to finish him because he had a rifle. I wish there was a way to turn off all the icons to make it easier to see when you're running in somewhere. I also wish I heard that guy running. That's another glitch I mentioned earlier. Earlier I mentioned there were glitches in the game. That's one that still annoys the crap out of me is not being able to hear footsteps very common <laughs> Ooh, 
I'm getting sniped at. That may have been an APC driving around. We oh wait, we're not. I thought we were down to B1. We still have B2. Must be on the wall. Dude, I'm digging this weapon sweat. Yeah, that guy's down. He was one of the MG guys. I've had people ask me before how to cancel a reload. Click your left mouse button as you reload. What? How's your head feeling after the third bullet finally went through it? Oh my gosh. I do not like my odds, but let's just say the Lord was on my side there. Another 33 second wait. That was a fun little spree before we lost. Oh my gosh. We got a rapid push on... Buddy, I think that there's a man... Where's this guy? Earlier I mentioned those lily pads. Yeah, that's really stupid. You see that guy that just killed me? He's just camping in them. I love it. There's gonna be so many enemies behind us too. I would have liked to have one of those kill him, but... Thought I still saw him in there. Apparently not. A lot of misses. back dude they're throwing grenades at me I got hit by an anti-tank rifle that's fun okay we're swapping to recon again it should be nice and let me right we're gonna go wide 3717 still doing awful but that's okay There are moments where this road can be great for a sniper. It just depends on the enemy team and where they're lining up to defend. I'm hoping this is one where it plays in my favor. There's skies on the roof. Did someone just shoot at me? Alright, that doesn't make me happy. One down. Two down. Where's that recon guy? He was over there. So you want to peek it again? There you are. Three down.
I... Regret to inform you... Oh, he's dead. I feel like my shot should have hit that guy. But that's okay. Oh, one thing that I hope that they add to this game... I've wanted them to add it for about five years now, but... That's not a glitch at all. Oh! I'm dead. Did not see that guy at all until he was behind the tree shooting me. Um, one thing that I want them to add to this game is a spotting mechanic. It's 2019. Every shooter game in the freaking world has a spotting mechanic now. Except for this one. Spotting mechanics are so nice. Again, I was talking about promoting gameplay for squads and like teamwork. Spotting mechanic is an easy, easy way to make a game have more team play in it. There is spotting in this game, don't get me wrong, that's what those little red triangles are, but you have to stare at someone for like five seconds, and most of the time you're already going to kill them before that happens. And like, if they're hiding behind cover, you can't spot them, and it's like, I, I want, if there's a guy behind that tree, I want to be able to tell my team there's a guy behind that tree instead of going... Look at that. You see how long that would have taken? Does not promote gameplay for teamwork, but that's okay. There's an enemy over here. That's a freaking... Oh, I think we got it. We'd better have it, at least. I shot that guy four times. Four. Four hit markers popped up. Jade Lady, you're the person I've been trying to kill. How are you freaking alive? Four times! One more. Guess someone killed the other guy. Reload my Thompson really quick. Fun little tactic. If you ever get another assault rifle, submachine gun, whatever, that's always fun to pick them up and then run with it. And then when you unload the full mag, you can just. Did not see that guy at all. That's okay. But you drop it and then continue firing with the next one. Good way to get a 60 round mag off. But in that instance, as you saw, it did not work. I will say, my team? Not very good. A lot of people with less than 10 kills and more than 20 deaths. It's usually a bad sign. We're going to lose here, as I predicted. Um, I'm going to try to get into the objective. Really would love to get revenge on that person and teabag them, but I don't think it's going to happen. I, di I did get the whistle, though, before. So, that's at least something, right? Oh, it might be a tank. We lost B3, I was just there! I got headshot from the bridge. You see that bridge in the distance? A tank shot me in the head from over there. And they say there's no tank spamming. Just joking. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in this video. If you liked it, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, be seeing more content in this game as well as various others. Ring that bell. Watch. Um, you know, all of the content I put out, that would mean the world to me because it gets a little stressful when I constantly feel like I have to play a game that I don't particularly enjoy as much as others just so people watch it. So it really would mean the world if you guys ring the bell, that way you're notified when I put out videos and other games. And consider checking them out. You might find that they're actually not that bad. You might enjoy watching it. Let me know if you do in the comments. Dislike the video if you don't like it. That, uh, that works too. I'm fine with that. Um, or like it if you did. Always comment below. I'm always more than happy to respond. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you all in the next one.